Hey, good morning, Church on the Ridge. Hey, uh, you know, one of those crazy days when uh, things don't turn out the way you expected. I'm here at the church parking lot and my alternator went out on my car. I had uh, loaned it to somebody and came back. It just it wasn't working, so I narrowed it down. So I brought my tools. Can you see them? Yeah, I brought my tools and I'm gonna try to repair it right here in the church parking lot before it gets dark. Uh, but it's Friday and it's gonna be a great day. And I know that uh, God's with me. One of the things so cool was uh, yesterday morning, Thursday morning in men's Bible study was we talked about uh, John chapter uh, 12 where uh, Mary pours this special perfume on Jesus to uh, show how much she loved him. She gave her all for him. And the crazy part was this guy named Jamie in our group, a new guy, talked about how it said Judas uh, was a thief and he was just stealing from the money, from, uh, from the money bag that uh, Jesus had and was upset because that was worth like a year's wages. How in the world could she pour that on him? And they could have sold it and given it to the poor, but so they didn't care about the poor because uh, he was stealing from the, from the uh, money bag anyway. But the part that he brought up that was so fascinating was that Jesus continued to allow him, knowing that he was a thief, stealing from him, you know, embezzling money from, uh, from Jesus, he continued to allow him to uh, be on the team. And um, I thought about that and I thought, you know, Jesus was never worried about the money. He didn't care about the money. We, he knew that his father would take care of him. When I said he didn't care about the money, he didn't care that it was stolen from him because his father was his, was his source. So many times we get so amped up and so worried about where our money's at and how it's gonna go and the money's cost me to fix this stupid car and you know, and how in the world and I get all amped up about it. But if I recognize God is my source, he's my strength, he's my everything. And if I seek him first, he's gonna take care of all the rest. And I'll let you know maybe Monday how this uh, alternator thing turns out. Uh, but uh, anyway, God's our source, let's not fret. Jesus doesn't fret over it. So let's trust the Father just as he did today. I don't know what your need is, I don't know what your problem is, I don't know what your frustration is, but God is your source and he's your answer for he supplies all that we need. So Father, I thank you for being a great God, for being a God who loves us and cares for us. I thank you, Lord, that you're gonna help me with this silly problem here, that you are bigger than that, God. And Lord, all my needs are in your hands, the needs of our church. Lord, thank you for this great church. Thank you for the grand opening this Sunday and the wonderful things that are gonna happen and the new people that are gonna to come to the door. But Lord, we love you. God, the frustrations of my friends, the problems that they're facing, God, be their source, be their strength, be their everything. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, I love your church on the Ridge. We'll see you Monday. Oh, hey, be here for the grand opening. Make sure you invite some friends out and uh, it's gonna be an awesome time. Love you guys. We'll see you then.